I'll Bam. Just like this. Okay. But you can. I mean, I can't hear. Hi. Hey, what's up with this? I don't know. Um, just yeah, put your face directly into when you want to speak. Ah 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 ah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, what's up? Uh, we're at Cuddy Convos. I think this is Cuddy Convos like eight or something like that. Mm -hmm. Let me let me turn this off. Keep um. Uh, this is like the whole, not the whole, but this is a big part of the rebel status group or whatever. Big so. part of the shebang gang. Yeah, I don't I like know. how our manager is saying or whatever. Manager, <laughs> fuck yeah. you, or something like that. Yeah. No, okay, hey, daddy. Everyone, yeah. just introduce yourself, please. Um, my name is Kali. Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, Kali Fasoli. Colo. My name is Griffin. And you know it's me, Frosty, Super Frosty. No, we don't. Stone we don't know. We don't know. Damn, that's disrespectful. Look at this group. Already falling apart. First Aww. interview together and we're already breaking up. Frosty's I hate melting. These don't make <laughs> assumptions. Okay. But yeah, we're very glad to be on Cuddy Combos right now. I ain't been on this joint ever. I know you offered it a couple of times, but you just didn't make it work. But I'm glad we're here now. Yeah, new life. Um, <laughs> new workings. Real talk, real talk. Um, so, I don't know. We, Me and uh, Frosty recently had like a conversation where we were kind of talking about the making of this group. And so I guess I'd like to hear from y'all's perspectives. Um, I don't know. Let's start with uh, Coley and then let's go to Colo and Griff and we'll work that way. Um, for sure. Um, just even speaking about the timeline of things, like uh, I know it started like the group just with me starting college or whatever, freshman year. Like, in fact, we was just even talking about this earlier today. Me and Colo was in the same class. We started rocking together and – we both seen like the week before like school even started, we seen Jay performing on stage at like a Gator Fest event um, at SFSU. So that was cool. And then we had him in the same class like that semester. It was hip hop workshop with Davey D. Shout out Davey D. Um, so uh, Colo had the great idea to run up on this nigga in the bathroom. So <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like I finished <laughs> peeing and I turn around. I was like, yo, dude, right. I'm a fan. <laughs> I was like, I like your music, Super Frosty Snowman. Is that you, right? You for surely started with, we know you. I yeah, was no, like, I, was like, I don't know y'all. I was like, right. hey, man, we, we know we you. Yo, y'all were insisting right that you right knew me. Right as he's in his pants. I was right. like, I know that motherfucker. I know that motherfucker you, somewhere. You, like, waited for me to be done, and I appreciate the courtesy. But you for surely said, like, oh, I know you. And I know I, you as you zipping up your pants and everything. I, I really thought I was I'm not a part of this. I'm not responsible. I really, These motherfuckers met him differently. I really thought I was going to get Another jumped in the school here. bathroom. I was like, not a stay. What? Right, I was going to say, that someone comes up to know. you after you're done peeing. And we then, know you. But that was but that was a really cool moment, for real, for real. Because they, they put themselves out there, and now look where we're at. Yeah. yeah. As for his Instagram, it. it's like real, a groupie. Real friendship. Thing. I was like, I want to work with you. You're cool. Yeah, I really yeah. credit uh, Colo for that because at that point, um, I was still getting used to just like his style of doing things. Like it's very like impromptu, like just like go with the flow type shit. Whereas like I would not be like, yeah, I'm not gonna walk up on a nigga. As he's like, I would wait till we he came back only. cause like we were during a break, right? So like I would have waited till this nigga came back into the classroom or like waited in the hallway. Too many people over there. You fucking. <laughs> And no, I want him right here. I want it. <laughs> yeah, I want him right here in the bathroom. Real, <laughs> assert myself. <laughs> Fire. Both of those things because it's, stu it's stuck in my mind. I forget about it for sure. But then at the same time, I would have done it your way because I'm because like that, I would have just been Take like because I, I never would have thought that would have happened to me. Because I'm know? knowing like I would have thought the same thing like oh niggas is really trying to press in the fucking bathroom like in the science building like for real. That's like, a new type of networking. I oh, feel like that's how this shit started though like. This motherfucker, the only reason I'm here is because he randomly put up to my dorm room one night. Like, I never met him in my life. I open the door and this motherfucker's there. And I got a keyboard out because I'm making music. And he's like, hey, you make music? And yeah, that's this it. This shit like, cool, dude. And like the yeah. first night we all hung out, I feel like we made a song even. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's clean, though. See, that's glue right there. Yeah, bitch shit. Yeah, it all started like out as like, you know, like separate pieces that slowly came together. Like, at first, like, I feel like we was like the main group at first or it was like the first two that was really like locked in together like that and then like we pulled y'all in but then like COVID happened so it was like a little bit of I know y'all was cooking up I was kind of out the way with it but like it wasn't even that much but like we really like locked in like last year like that 
Yeah, um, a lot more for sure. Yeah, it was exactly. super clean. Like, so we was all doing our own thing, trying to like figure out how we were as individual artists, and then we started locking in a lot more. And I feel like we've started to solidify the group a bit, like even like in the last few months, really, um, like maybe half a year, something like that. Like, really get on our shit in terms of like. Uh, coordinating releases like figuring out the group name figuring out the distribution figuring out what our schedule is going to be how we're trying to drop things um and i think it's been really good we've been working at a good pace so far this year i'm uh, looking forward to see what we're going to do going forward but like okay to that do you guys think you guys have learned kind of a lot in these past nothing at all nothing at all a lot of single yeah, things yeah thing. yeah fuck yeah fuck education. You stay the same. exactly <laughs> That's how college. Is. No, same, okay, but like, oh yeah, nah, of same course. dookie, no. different stuff. Same dookie, different. Nah, stuff. but on a on a real, yeah, I feel like different we have folks. learned a lot in terms like even just like about each other and our work styles and how sure. we make that work. That's really as fun. like just a group of like grown ass niggas who got like a lot of shit going on. You feel me? So it's like yeah. you know if you busy with a lot of shit, and of course niggas in the bay know that like if you are a working class person trying to make your way, it takes a lot. Chances are you got six jobs. Right, right. So it's eight like, baby mamas. Yeah, I'm just playing. <laughs> right. Don't not, quote that. Don't quote that. You got. You got. <laughs> I stand on that. Hey, <laughs> shit. You know, sometimes just, yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna speak on niggas' situations, but there's definitely some niggas like that. Not me though. Um, y'all figure it out. Any <laughs> conversation. <laughs> but like, yeah, like just figuring out how, like, with our busy ass schedules, when we can come together and get those things done, and how to be really efficient and productive with our time. But still be able to have fun and not wearing ourselves out because, you know, that's a big thing for artists, you feel me? Like, having to do that, like, work-life balance, like, especially if you have, like, more than one job and then you're trying to, like, balance your personal obligations um, and then do, like, yo shit that you love to do on the side, you feel me? And especially, like, for us because we've all been students at one point, so we've all had to balance that as well. Um but it's been good. I feel like even, like, we were, me and Cola was talking about that before, like, even just, like, school providing sort of, like, a structure to, like, build the schedule around. Um, because, like, we'll, like, kind of, like, coordinate a sessions, like, on days where it's like, oh, I have school this day or whatever. Or, like, I don't have this many classes this day. Uh, I don't have, like, a long day at work, like, today so we can make it work. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And, like, we've especially been on it, like, like, at the start of this year, like, just being like, oh, yeah, I'm on today. Like, uh, me and Colo didn't even plan to be working yesterday, and we actually got a couple of songs mixed, so it was, like, cool. There just, we go. Okay, okay. You know, this one I'm trying to hear. Like, like who said, like, we've been shooting more videos as well, too. Um, yeah, that reminds me. We definitely need to talk after this about <laughs> about yeah. things that we need to work on. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But we we've also been way better about <laughs> Holding ourselves accountable yeah. as well. Yeah, I think that's ooh, yeah. that's like the biggest part is like holding yourself accountable because there's like a lot of stuff that uh, you guys do do. I'm I'm never gonna say you guys don't do anything because you guys do, do a lot of shit. Do do. <laughs> you guys do like hella shit, but like like every other artist, a lot of artists do hella hella shit, and right. they just don't do anything with it. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but you seriously can't act like you're gonna get somewhere if no right. one knows you know you could be like i got 500 of the best songs ever and it's like well how come you only got two songs out from eight years ago on fucking soundcloud bro right. like so you know what i mean it. yeah ah, i don't know. I like it for myself mm. that, that's how some people <laughs> feel though for real right. i know sometimes y'all feel like that too do you not do you never feel like you have this great piece of art yeah. that you're like oh yeah no one all the time i feel like, 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 to, like to the learning thing you were talking about like I definitely used to gatekeep like all my songs and not drop anything, but now like I do it on purpose. Like I'll drop the shit that I've had for a minute that I've been sitting on, but like if I cook something new and it's crazy, like I'll keep that for a little later. Like I'm gonna drop that yeah, later. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like keep I think that's a smart later. idea though. I mean, I I do the yeah. same thing with like clothes. You know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. There's a difference between gatekeeping and managing just, your releases. Yeah. Yeah. Right, just waiting right. for the right time. Mm -hmm. You still have to make sure that time is like within a year, but you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> right. But you think, you think about artists like a uh, money back. Yo, like money back. Yo told us that like he, he, he said that he dropped like say not with J Cole, like too early. Like he should have saved. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. No, that is true. A That's bigger crazy. moment, which it's cool because he's, it seems like he's finally getting his flowers now and stuff like that. But it was right, like right. a long road for him mm -hmm. just because he was like, he was getting heat, dropping it, like getting right. heat, dropping it. Like, we got to be smarter about it. But at the same time, we can't be holding on for shit for years. Like I know I did it because, um, 
I was not confident in my body of work. It was just like, I, I feel like this could be better. And it could have been better. I was, I'm definitely not as good at what I do, or I wasn't as good as at what I do as I am now back then. Um, and I think that's also been just like the great thing about being in a group is uh, us telling each other how it is so that we can form a more unbiased perspective of what yeah. our everyone needs to put like. a little criticism in, you know, mm-hmm. and figure out what works. We've all definitely made each other better in that regard. Yeah, so yeah. It's been a great thing. It's been a beautiful thing. I feel like there was moments where it was like I heard somebody on one of our group chats. It was like I never heard you like get to that quality or to that level before like on your solo stuff before. yeah like, yeah yeah not that you didn't have it in you it's just like i don't feel like i heard it like that until i heard you on the group track yeah yeah mm. i think that's very mm. yeah very real you know um I, but that's just gonna keep happening is like you guys keep like going on your musical journey like that um i was gonna ask y'all um i the i don't know if you guys russell north is mm. um He's like Apollo's manager, someone else's That's manager. Like yeah, there was like another one um, where he said it was like, uh, um, if you're not like Kaylani or her, like you need to drop like two albums this year plus like two oh, songs yeah. every uh, month or something like that. Mm-hmm. How do y'all feel about that? Like, honestly, because that's what I feel like I try to be telling y'all. And then like right. sometimes, sometimes you guys are like, yes, but then sometimes I'm like, mm, like, I feel like you guys want to like wait on things. And, you know, like, obviously, I can't tell you how to do your job at the end of the day because you guys don't tell me how to do my job. But like, <laughs> I feel like it's making sure that the quality is there. But then it's also like it's hard to find time to really focus on everybody individually unless you work on yourself individually and then come together like to the sessions like ready to do like things as a group and Mm -hmm. even when that means like everybody is focused on like one person's like it could like when everybody bust down and like worked on my album with me that was a really special moment because it was like okay cool we're all invested in it and then it's really just a matter of like well how do we all want to help mix that's not me do we all want to help mix something or it's just like you know Y'all just hold on to it because these are, our, like y'all are all saying, these are our babies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Like, this is our soul we're putting down under the mic. I feel like that was such, like, a very well put together project for you, though. Does that make sense? Like, and it, was, I mean, to that credit, it's because, like, all of you guys were focused on it. And I feel like mm-hmm. in that regards, I'm not saying you guys, like, obviously, whatever you want to keep is yours, you know, like, mm-hmm. whatever is your baby is your baby. I'm not telling you to not do nothing it's with my it. baby. But, my baby. Yeah, but it's, like, at the end of the day, like, we all just want to see you, like, put out, like, the best stuff possible. Right. So it's, like, if we all, uh, like, put some time and effort into, like, helping each one of us, like, market, do the, the album artwork, do the mixing, do the, you know, finish a, fix a, a verse here and there, fix a hook. Mm-hmm. blah 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 you know what i mean like i feel like we could come out so much more crispy I and feel like we really could be doing shit like at least one song well we already hold it in our, to ourselves to like do a song a month like as a group track mm-hmm. i feel like the way i'm looking at it personally is like if we do something as a group and then i do something on my own the like that's the best thing i could possibly right, be doing sure. and that yeah. one is better than none it should be more yeah, than one yeah, ideally yeah. just because that what like you said like we need to be able to put as many like pieces of ourselves like out there for people to be able to grab onto because like you mm-hmm. know the other thing too is we could probably all make it like a song like multiple songs every month or have like things in our archive and then also like put it out there whether it's like things that are completed already or things that still need to be recorded but i feel like you know we don't we we would only be doing the music part yeah. Because we love doing that so much more than we love doing the video right. aspects. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. That's the thing that's really takes, that's the hardest part for us is like the marketing, the right. per- self promotion. Cause we all humble motherfuckers. So it's like, we don't, we all know that we don't, but it's like, we don't want to be like swinging our dick in everybody's faces because that's not the right thing to do. That's really Yeah, stuff. yeah. That's 100%. Nobody wants of course that not. Shirt. But like, we all, but, it, but it's also recognizing like that's not what it is to like post At all. music and exactly. to promote and be like, this yeah. is my song. Listen to my song. Whoop de wah. My song's tough. See, I'm dancing to my song. It's a cool song. You could dance to it too. It's <laughs> the thing is, too, is like, <laughs> if you guys have more out, uh, like, you know, like for me, like nowadays, it's like a lot easier to like, uh, like post a lot more content because I have a lot more things to post. So it's, it's never like I'm like, oh like i need to make new stuff it's like oh i posted this like eight months ago i'm sure like 900 people didn't see that you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so i can just repost it so like in that contrast you guys could like have like 
you know, a song every month. And then like six months from now, when you have six new songs, you could post a song from like two years ago and be like, hey, do you guys remember this song though? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like these, it's not like these songs die. Like for sure, like the internet is fast and stuff, but like new trends get picked up every day. There's like a song from like 1985 today that's going to go viral on TikTok because they said, I fucked my dad or some shit like yeah. that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Hey, like, yeah. baby hey. right there, oh yeah, yeah, your older stuff. <laughs> yeah, wait, like, yeah, like, that's a trait. Oh yeah, that old that old stuff really does get found one way or another. And it's it's, it's as simple as like new fans coming and just be like, oh, you got hella songs. Okay, yeah. and then they're like, damn, you look young. This is completely different from the last thing that you dropped. But it's yeah, cool. definitely. Yeah, this yeah. Cool. Exactly. I see the progression. Or wow, this right. is like what you always say right. about cooking is the most the, the most gas thing that you like from me about cooking is the first thing that I did. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah I love like, that it's song. It's a testament to the beat so more than anything else. To like the beat still slap, but it's like you know when you like one aspect of the song versus like a million rewrites later, it's like yeah, it's a completely different thing at that point. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that shows like your evolution as an artist, which like I'm not gonna be like man, but fuck this shit. But like you know, there's somebody that's gonna like it from 2000 fucking 15 compared to your 2023 version right. you know what i mean right. and that's just that's just life i'm not saying that's like a bad thing or uh even a good thing i'm just saying like as an artist like people have to see like both sides of the coin you know yeah, what right. i mean so like it's not like your art ever dies it's just the fast internet that'll make you think mm -hmm. that which is you know don't let that discourage you from posting an old ass fucking song from three years ago and be like hey y'all remember that this was fire because it was fire but that's yeah. also like a cool thing to do like nowadays like even if you like seen the shit that like yeah he did in 2016 with like the life of Pavel like that, that was a living breathing album because that nigga was taking songs yeah. off of it putting songs on it like redoing songs yeah yeah like you can make changes in real time and people can see that like oh only the first hundred people that listen to this shit got to hear this version right. now you got the like version that has like the new section in it or whatever things like yeah. that um I think it's really cool Right. But I feel like everything, like, as far as us in terms of, like, the video stuff and, like, even, like, like coordinating drops all comes back to, like, two core values, efficiency and professionalism. Because the efficiency, like, being able to, like, because before it was kind of, like, we were coming to the studio, like, oh, yeah, we have, like, this day that we're coming in and, like, we all get together and then we get there and then we're, like, chilling for a little bit. Like, we're all, like, catching a vibe. Ling and it's, like, all right. Ling -ling. <laughs> but, like, then at that point, like, we might be, like, 40 minutes to, like, over an hour in. And then it's, like, so what are we going to do today? And it's, like, we needed to stop doing that shit. Like, low-key, like, we had a conversation, I don't know how long ago, where it was, like, I feel like we're bullshitting. And low-key, we were bullshitting for a long time. So, like, but now we're been, we've been super good <laughs> about, like, you know, getting in at a right. certain time like knowing what we're gonna do before we come in and then like being focused like we're still like being like cool with each other and like having a good time but like we're getting to shit in a timely manner and we're also being better about the video shit because like jay was saying like yeah we're all like humble like low-key niggas we don't be like i mean we'd be doing many shit but it's off the camera because it's like we're all like it's like, so homies. easy to not like uh, record that and just live in the moment you know what yeah. i mean it's kind of hard to like yeah. build up that habit where you're like fuck we're having a really good time i have to pull out my camera you know that's that's right. so right. annoying right. it's like the stupidest yeah. thing you could ever do but it's also yeah. like one of those things where a lot of people don't really live a life right. like you guys live you know what i mean like right. that's mean. there's a lot of people who are like really I don't, i'm not gonna say jealous but niggas. yeah like they, i don't know they just stay at home all day or they don't have that many friends and i'm Damn, you know like, you do it like i'm not i'm not trying oh, to no, say you, like I, they have a sad life no. but i'm saying <laughs> like not everyone gets to experience like a life with like a lot of good friends that are like all trying to work towards one goal do you right. know what i mean i was talking yeah. to Chloe about that last night like at four in the morning before you we went to sleep like yeah you know. like that just like that blessing to have people that like understand you on that level you're all walking towards the same goal together or even if you're not not walking towards the same goal but like it's in that similar sphere like we know people that might not be doing the music but they entrepreneurs and shit like that right yeah they're trying to get their business off so it's like really cool to fuck with y'all on that tip but like damn i lost my train of thought <laughs> no i get what you're saying though the and that's like such a station the what the train has left the station <laughs> the train has left the station <laughs> like i feel like 
you I think you said this as at one point, like and I think something we all been learning is like what you don't see you was talking about Kehlani like dropping like we should be dropping like two times a month singles, like two albums, like there's like machines of people in the industry behind that, like making content, like mm. doing the ads and all that stuff. And I feel like like the reality is as an independent as an independent artist, like you just have to like like you don't necessarily have those resources to like that's what the point of this is though like exactly. we have to realize that you exactly. know what i mean like when you guys like drop something i hope you got well i'm not saying that you guys have to notice this but like i try to like promote you guys as much as i can because i feel like you guys are an extension of what like rebel status is at this point you guys like represent it very well and like you know i i appreciate what you guys do so i want like people when when they think of like rebel status they don't think of me like they think of like the group you get what i mean mm. so it's like we have to like uh utilize ourselves as resources at that right. point and be like uh you know when griff when you drop like we all need to make like uh, uh yeah like ex okay mm. see tomorrow i'll make a story like post or like you know post about it and say like what well, we had involved with it see i'm always the bad one no i never know <laughs> But see, I'm always the last to know these we things. Was, we was just filming a promo yeah. like what two nights ago when we was doing a music video shoot. Right, beautiful phone, though. You know, see, that's what I love to hear. Yeah. So that's what we really need. Right. And I mean, you know, uh, all this shit is temporary, bro. So like, let's fucking <laughs> let's uh, work as hard as we can to like make sure that like when we like move out, we're like a force together. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I will say this. Um, I feel like. It was just hard at first just because it's like we real family so it's like real family yeah, yeah. does not need to be documenting every single fucking thing like i'm not yeah. like right. one of those instagram bitches who be like at like brunch at like 9 30 a.m i mean yeah that's maybe. the thing like, is neither are any of us <laughs> that's why that's why it's so like hard to like get into that but it is it's one of those things we kind of have to unfortunately hammer into our like lifestyle is right. like we're always doing something and people look at that shit Ooh, um yeah. You like was talking about, talking about about how that shit sucked. I feel like I've been reshaping my mind recently to think about it as a habit. Like you just gotta do it more, and it becomes more yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those habits that's. <laughs> it yeah. sounds bad, but like it's like good for your career in the long run. No, you literally. know what I mean? Right. Like it sounds so strange to be like just be on your phone all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. Just have just have the camera on you. But yeah, that's one of those things that you kind of have to like uh, explain to people because people think. You know, like the whole one release every year is going to get them to blow up somehow or get them signed or whatever. But that's know. not even what labels are looking for. Like, exactly. Yeah, you know, absolutely not. it's funny that you say that. Like, so uh, there is this person recently who we don't say names, obviously, but like um, Jeff they, Freeman. Je yeah. Jeff Freeman. <laughs> you fucking you know, um, it's this person. It's just like an artist. And all they do is like they'll do a one post and then delete. So they usually have like one post on their entire profile. Mm. And when I was doing like the whole uh, picking and choosing for uh, the next big thing if they like barely had any instagram presence we didn't even look at them like and so like i was trying to tell this person like yo like you need to stop like deleting all your stuff or like you know unarchive it or whatever he had right. and you know like let them know and he was like oh but you know i'm not trying to give too much away like blah 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 and i was like <laughs> i like people need to like know you before you become right. mysterious like, otherwise you, you're just not you, known you, you get what i you mean you can't give anything away if there's nobody looking like, exactly I don't, and i don't mean to be rude but like that's just a fact like, no yeah yeah exactly no you're 100 percent on the point yeah. like and it's uh, it's not like a diss towards anyone <laughs> it's just saying like what the fuck yeah. like come on now like if you have two people's eyes on you and you haven't posted in like six weeks and you have one post on your ig like what are they gonna think like they're not gonna know if you had a new song out they're not gonna know where to find this or that they're not gonna know you know what I mean? It's just, right. I don't know. I think people play too coy on the internet and expect that to work. And it's like, yeah, you kind of got to, you got to kind of move like a stupid way, like a wave of stuff, like all the Seriously. time, you know, every day you'd have something to post. Right. And I feel like, um, at that point I would just ask them like, is your music, do you want your music to be just for you? Or do you want your music to be loved by people? Or That's a hundred percent the truth. Yeah, Cause there's a lot of people who just do this for fun. And to those people, right. like that's, Put it's that totally fine up. yeah have fun the whole time i'm not trying to tell anyone not to do that yeah but like some people walk around and they're right. like i'm the next like generational right. artist and i'm like dog like you dropped something like mm -hmm. two years ago and you're like talking about how like you have the best song out and it right. like 
people have moved on. Like, right. even if you did have a hot song, right. like, you can't rely on, I don't know. Unless you meant, I sometimes make I a also. video about it. Huh? Ooh. Unless you make a video about it, like you said. Mm. Yeah, I mean, make a hundred videos about it. That's the right. thing. Turn it into a campaign. Do what Stunna Man did. Do what any person does when they get a hot song. Like, go around the world and fucking try and show it off. You know what I mean? Right, but that's just the thing. They was doing something. Like, we're talking about people that's not really doing anything with this shit. Like, hey, maybe it's, like, something, like... They're looking at, like, the high standard that's at. Like, yeah, like, Kendrick Lamar and Frank Ocean can fuck off and not make a single post because they are established. Like, you yeah. just know them. They're, like, yeah, everyone already knows that they're the actual generational right. artists. <laughs> so like, people are actually waiting for them, you know. Right. Kendrick wasn't fucking around on the self-titled album, like, not making any fucking posts. Like, he had to grind to get where he was at. Like, fucking J. Cole had fucking, like dog shit followers when he first started his career but now yeah. like, nigga doesn't have to say a goddamn thing in order to get and you know the crazy part is oh, well i'm not gonna say for everyone but j cole for the most part seemed like he was pretty nice along the whole way so maybe right, being yeah. nice would help you out too because some of y'all be acting hollywood with like 200 followers right <laughs> you can't be anti because you ain't made an anti so. for real it's a little it's a little scary sometimes some of y'all <laughs> but um yeah i don't know i feel like we got like a pretty good thing going on right now and I know that we have a lot of stuff planned for this year. Do you guys have anything that you uh, are ready to talk about for this year? Is there anything you guys want to lay on? I'll do some stuff if y'all <laughs> say some stuff. We definitely, we. I know we all got some stuff. And if we don't, we better. So we better make some shit up. Let's just talk about the single that just dropped, right, Jay? Yeah. Well, so we got another mission that just dropped on the 31st. And it's us and Taya, me and Coley and Taya. I made the beat. Fire. And... It's, um, I feel like you said it that I was starting to get in a bag with like what my production Yo, sound, sound like, you know, whatever it's crazy. you sound like when I'm the one on the, on, the, on the whole beat. So it's cool. It's really cool. I'm excited about it. It's like a three man weave type beat. And, um, I feel like what that one's, that one's a single. I got, I got a whole little three piece that I've been working on for a while now. And I got Coley on another song later. We was just shooting the video today the other night. Um, I'm already working on the editing, so it's like already I'm getting better at like editing shit off the rip. And then what the third is um, another mission. No, the third is who, which is a song I made with Tay like hella long who? ago, who? And, um, who? like a couple years ago. So I'm excited about that. And then I got I got at least one other three piece playing with um, with Isu Isu Beast Isu, my man's out the DMV. Shouts out Isu. Hey, wait, um, I, real quick. Sorry, yeah. not to not to derail. No, you can Did tell you me. guys ask Taya what you guys were gonna ask? Nah, she, she, she cat. Yeah, she oh, baby. she catted. Damn. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Taylor, slide continue. on us. <laughs> yeah, continue on with what you're saying. I'm sorry. Come to the band. Got, so what? I shouts out you two, and then <laughs> why you give it away, nigga? What the fuck? I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Top number one. It's funny how we all like hunched over. Now. <laughs> right, like. Right. 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 Nah, so no, what, uh, got got the three piece with Isu. I got a couple songs I've been making with my cousin. I got a couple songs with Ben, and then um, ben. And, and that's 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 all for right now. I'm trying to really drop at least once. once I'm trying to drop twice a month. Um, can we talk um, about shaking ass? And the 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 the, the, the <laughs> most the, the next yeah. the, the next one is the one that <laughs> about the it. next one is one of the ones I'm the most excited about. Yeah. But yeah, me and Cody got a song dropping. This week, I called guess, shaking by the time the airs, it will have been <laughs> last week. Ass. Why don't you guys tell me? It's, it's, it's not, what a, it's the not fuck? called Chicken Head. It's called Shake Ass. It's called Shake Ass. It's a okay. great song. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. We already verified it. We already sound tested it with uh, some some girls. Or I did. I some it. girls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were like, let the me, girls let like me it. Not, yeah, let me not be inappropriate. <laughs> but like, I, I, no, I, was, you're hired, to be I played it at work and, and they was fucking. They was gigging to it. They were shaking ass. Was. I verified they that definitely heard Asha. you and they were like um, um, is this you Coley this, this song is just really about like us appreciating ass and, 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 <laughs> <shaking>. fucking... <laughs> and we're thankful for every day that that some ass is being shook especially around us um so so thank you asses all around the world um little big um curvy um not flat though um like we fuck with you hey, but like not like that flat asses i mean <laughs> If you like, it's all about how you make it look, right? And how you carry yourself. So, shout out confident asses all around the world, too. There we go. And shake, I, shake, and shake we hope if you like, you got a shy ass that you find the confidence in order to be able to shake your ass however you want. That part Beautiful, Cole. <laughs> it 
It do not matter. <laughs> I stand uh, on it. It do not matter. It do not matter. And I'm not savage. So wait. Okay, Smoking that gas. See. Okay. Okay. That's so wait. So Griff, got, you got, also got, have got. some things coming out this month. Tomorrow. Oh, we have to. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's. No, 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 no. She's back to my time. This is what I have to do with on the regular. Oh. Um, okay, so wait, we were talking. Um, you guys kind of talked about releases. Griff, you're releasing yes. something tomorrow. Yes. What, what is today? What is today's day? It's February first. Rent's due, so February second. Black History Month. Yeah, Black History Month. Yeah, shouts out. <laughs> yeah, he's a, yeah, 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 Black History Month. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Uh, but uh, definitely. yeah, no, I'm Griffin I'm Black. You ain't no to... <laughs> false. You say nigga too. Categorically, wait a minute. False. They say nigga. <laughs> Whoa! Tell Whoa. him. Wait Tell him. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, cut the podcast. Griffin, don't say that. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. We didn't even make it up for a minute. I'm like, <laughs> wait, we, wait, shit. wait. Okay, so I'm Griffin, like, Griffin, I'll say nigga again up. at the minimum. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> you just did. Stop! <laughs> you just did. <laughs> Cancel. <This is laughs> but ridiculous. hey, no, no. I got, I got music dropping tomorrow, February second. So it might be after nigga. this when it comes. When it this will comes be. Out. It'll already be out. No, but yeah, no. It's a, it's a double single called High. Like a karate chop, Hi-ya! and that's a bar on like okay. haya, like a higher power, higher, and then haya, like Ooh. actual karate chop. Fire, and then so that's the second song on it, and the first song is called I Don't Know. Um, so yeah, it's gonna slap. It's a okay. little, yeah. little groovy, shot. little trippy thing. So. And we shot promo for that yeah. too. And then we definitely oh, drop more stuff. I got my like my own stuff in the vault. I'll be planning. We on. definitely got to get you some videos this year, so we'll have to work on that too. So we can do um, it. And then yeah Kolo, We're supposed to have done a video for you But your ass is Your ass is <laughs> lagging on that That's not me. Yeah so wait Explain what you have coming out Cause you so you, I mean you probably work with some of the hardest Out of all of us I'll agree Cause you be mixing and mastering for everybody But It comes and goes and in like That's waves for sure Like um, With music I kinda wanna talk about this like earlier too Oh fuck but I'm losing my train of thought at the same time Hold on that wah wah. Um, no, just about releasing music, you know, having the release schedule of just it being like two times a week or not two times a week, like two times a month, dropping like two albums and stuff. And like, ideally, I've always told myself I wanted to do that too. Like, even when I first started doing music hella long ago, but then like just the way the artistry moves and like just like the inter- internet like moves hella fast and stuff, like, so does my own like creativity and like the how much I grow and how much I almost overanalyze like my old music and stuff or um, the different parts of myself that sometimes I'm really feeling and sometimes I'm really not. So it's really hard to like um, battle that sometimes of just like, oh, I got this old song that I want to drop, but you know, I've been sitting on it for a long time, but I'm not feeling it anymore. Or sometimes I'm like, I have this song, old song I want want to drop. I'm really feeling it and I really just got to catch the moment. So I think one thing I learned from me creatively is I have to learn how to continue to catch the moment and just like, when I'm really feeling the inspiration, I just got to be like, okay, I'm going to just drop that shit. Like, because I, I just know myself that like, I could just let shit drag on for so right. long and I get caught up in just like the motions too much, right. you know? So, um, but I definitely want to drop the fuck out of hella songs though. Like hella music. Like I was going to say, I feel like you might have more than a lot of us. He was just playing me hella music that I've never heard before. That's what I'm saying. I know for sure you have hella shit that you just don't fucking tell anybody about. Right. And that's something that I definitely, I mean, you know, I, bro, like, you're definitely, like, one of the biggest stars, like, on this group. You do so much. And so I feel like you kind of need to, I want to help you at least break out of that habit where you have, like, hella shit. No, definitely. And I think drop. that's what I need to, like, yeah, you know, yeah. just have y'all around me and stuff right. is what, what keeps it driving and stuff, like my own creativity. Like, I really wouldn't be able to do this shit on my own because, I, you know, I could easily get trapped in my own head about just, like, right. making music forever. I could lock myself right. in a room, but then, I, you know, that's just depressing as fuck. And I've, like, <laughs> been through so many phases like that mm-hmm. where I'll just, like, isolate and just make mm-hmm. music, and I think that that's what I need. And I do sometimes, but other times I'm like, what I really need is y'all energy and just like do a fucking interview and like do something that's like just like different and uncomfortable sometimes. Like even just me being on this mic just feels so weird and uncomfortable. Yeah. And I don't know why I got so high off of just four puffs of that blunt bread, but like I just been I just been looted the whole time. Like just even looking at the clock run down, I just been staring at that for like thirty minutes. Just like you know, I, just like, I feel it. I know. I just, I just feel like so tense. You know, like I don't know why it feels that way right now. 
Nah, but like to what you were you saying, know? like about like, like feeling the mood. Like, I think it is hell important to tuck off and make music for like a month straight. Like, cause that be healing my mental. But like, that's the shit that kills me too. I feel like to the like the the picking things up and keeping it going. I feel it's like feeling a fire. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. when you feel that spark, it's like like recognize that and like put fuel in it. You know, like for big industry, it's a lot of money. That gets to places for us. It's like it's love. It's like it's like the time. You know. So it's just realizing what you need to do and like taking baby steps too. I feel like makes it all possible. Yeah, it was definitely about being uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It's I, like yeah, go go go. Sorry, it's, no, it's just like being uncomfortable. Like that's what you're feeling right now. It's like yeah, you might be feeling extra fried, but like the situation's uncomfortable too. Because how often have you been on a podcast? Right. No, how often do you just talk about yeah. yourself? I know oh, yeah. you've done it because right. you've done it before. Right, you've been doing it for a little minute. Right. I don't. You're just comfortable talking. I mean, in front of cameras, doing. Hello. I'm just. There we go. You talk a lot. You're not in front of cameras like that. Yeah, I feel like you, you, are, talk you talk on the mic, but that's what we're trying to say. You make hella music. You talk on the mic all the time, but this right. is different because right. you got a camera in your face. And it's yeah. you know it's for surely just vulnerable. It's like me even just being on this podcast is like me putting out my music. Right. It's like yeah. it's like yeah. me putting something right. out in the air right. and being like me being like, oh yeah, I'm finna drop this music in like two weeks, and it's like I can't actually stand on that. Yeah, you can't hold yourself. I can't hold myself. Like, <laughs> like I can't yeah. like being realistically, but I can stand on like, okay, I'm gonna help the homies out and help them drop their shit because yeah, it's yeah. like mm-hmm. it's like in, in times where I feel like I, my voice can't shine through, I, I got to right. do it vicariously through the people around me for me to finally feel comfortable and be like, right. okay, I think I feel the strength, you know, to be able to do that. There's something really good about that and great in that. But then there's also, like, you have to realize, like, there's some things that you do need to be super proud of. Not, like, super proud of, but, like, you just need to, like, uh, we'll say like this. Like, okay, like, I I, uh, was very uncomfortable posting every day for a long time. And I feel like I've told you all this, but like now, like I feel uncomfortable if I don't post, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It became the new norm. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Right. So it's like, you just have to yeah. put yourself in like super uncomfortable positions. Like not all the time, but like right. try and like, if there's right. something you're really trying to build yourself up to and it's uncomfortable, right. you just have to get used to being uncomfortable, unfortunately for yeah. that thing. Yeah. And at some point it will go away. At some point you're going to be like, oh, I don't even notice it anymore. Right. And then you'll see it the opposite way. And you're like, what the fuck? It's like, professionalism. Like we were talking about. Yeah. Just healthy habits. Right, right, right. Like no. I, I get the sentiment of like, cause we're doing this shit in the first place because we just wanted to follow our hearts and do what we wanted to do. But at the same time, we got to change our perception of things like doing all that promotion and like putting yourself in front of a camera, putting yourself on stage and shit like that. Like more than just like standing in front of a microphone and recording or like standing in front of your dog and producing. It's, there's just a lot to it more than like what you guys, you guys are really good at one thing. I'm really good at one thing. We put it together and then, you know, like we try and help each other where we both are lacking. Yeah. Cole, he's been growing at it a lot and I see you gearing up for your project. Hard as mm-hmm. fuck. Griff Hard also fuck. starting to lean yeah. into Hard it. Hard as fuck. All like, y'all. Right. I see it's cause crazy. Like, I see y'all leaning into yeah. it, getting ready to drop like mm-hmm. the next body of work. Cause like, you know, you dropped a bunch of, you dropped a bunch of things with the group. But like I'm ready to see you do your like your whole project. You feel right. me? I'm ready to see you do mm. your whole because you because you also yeah. have you have a bunch of Griff actually has a lot has of like the most the past to this on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. So that it's yeah. Like, you, know, you probably have like some of the most. You compared go through to their that, catalog and you're like, yeah. damn, you got hella music. Yeah, they've been cooking <laughs> and so the fuck it's up. Like you know, mm-hmm. whether it's like getting re- and like just putting people on notice for the next thing because you've been dropping consistently too. So right. it's like you know everybody everybody stepping out their comfort zone and doing something that's like benefiting themselves but benefiting a group at the same time if we really linked up like that because you're doing it as a result of like oh i was in a session i was talking to y'all about this i shared this and y'all all geeked off it so it's like obviously i need right. to put that together right. Right. Mm-hmm. I need and we to get it together and like we've been better too because of the reorientation like we've been able to okay. see things that used to be tedious as like part Super of following easy. our dream yeah 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 and I so like that, uh, on my bad line it's like when you see it like that though that's like when it becomes easy. Like the video shit can become easy if like we're having fun while we're doing it. Cause I feel like exactly. we, we always do that. Like once we start right. doing it, we have fun with it and then we get some good content done. Right. It's just about like initiating that shit more. Um, but yeah, like with that being said, like I think it's cool. Like we've been gearing up for some big shit. Like even as far as like individual shit, um, as trying to get projects ready and even like the group project ready or like the first one at least. You feel me? Like it's it's been exciting because like i feel like i'd say this more than maybe anybody else in the group uh an artist or a group of artists they need to have a body of work 
you know, it can't just be like singles here, here and there. Like eventually you have to have a body of work. Like, oh, this is my five, six, seven track. Like it could be an EP, it could be an LP, it could be a full length, like long as fuck album, like a Chris Brown album where you dropping like 24 songs or some shit. But you have to have a body of work. And I think we've been getting real close to that. Like the efficiency means that we've been creating more content faster. And now we're sitting on a lot of shit where it's like, we can plot out our first project and then think about the track listing for the second one at the same time. And then when we get the first one finished, then we can start working on the second one right away, which is also what I've been working with on a solo tip. Like it was great because like yesterday me and Colo linked up cause we were supposed to be in the same class and like me and him and Jada was just hanging out the whole day, but we actually got like tracks mixed and like ready, like for my project. And I only have like there two left. And then I'll be ready and then it's just gonna drop as soon as possible. That's like just as important too though. It's like you're saying like the group project, but like it's so important that you guys each have like a solid foundation by yourselves too. Yeah. Like um, I mean, not that this is like the same thing, but like, you know, fucking Wu Tang clan, like every single one of those motherfuckers is like <laughs> as much as their group projects like always are like the most well performed, you know art that they do like everyone still wanted to hear like Raekwon's first album or like Ghostface Killer's first album or you know RZA blah 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 etc cetera, etc cetera. like we could keep going and like each one of them has like a very solid project on their own and that's what I think like yeah. uh you guys like I mean you guys are very much working towards that but like you know like it's good to see that like you guys can be really polished on like a group project but then also like you guys could do a couple of songs by yourself and like handle it you know what i mean i feel like a lot of people look for that where they're like oh well they're only good when they're together and it's like no right. these motherfuckers could handle themselves if they right. needed to right. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and like even speaking of wu-tang it's like it's that level of personal ambition that like makes wu-tang like a solidified group because like motherfuckers to this day will still like have somebody that they prefer out of their group like yeah, oh like yeah. i like Raekwon. like oh i like rizza oh i like meth uh, like, I, I, said, like, I like I like meth. meth. I like meth. I like I, meth. meth. I like, Shout out to meth. Meth. I like meth, and meth. Meth man is hellfire. But yeah, <laughs> like um, same shit with like the diplomats, the locks. Yeah, like, yeah, that's hella real. All that shit, like Migos, RIP Takeoff. Like yeah, Takeoff was always yeah. my favorite, and I feel like he was like carrying the group through the their inception to like their like first like golden age, and then like post bad and bougie. I feel like niggas was sleeping. Um, so yeah, I want to yeah. make sure that we like give that respect. Like he was like doing shit, big shit. Um, but yeah, it was because they was all getting on and it was like ready to do some shit on their own and not just support the homies as much as like, that is like a great thing. We should all do right. that. We should strive to do that simultaneously along with our yeah. personal ambitions as well. And we should like, it's been great just because like, especially with like Frosty's like EP, like, we were able to focus on all that shit together like and we like because we're a group regardless of whether we're working on like somebody's singular music or like a whole group project or like just a group single like it's like we're a group for a reason we can always work on shit together because it's like damn there we're a friend group we're a family we're a music group and we're also a label and we're also models and we're all like we're a lot of, we're a lot of shit we're a lot of shit at the same time which means like we should you we also have a lot of resources which so we need to act like we have a lot of resources because it's like don't play this shit like it's a superhero movie you know how niggas will be like the avengers but then like iron man will get his own movie and it's like why didn't all the avengers pull up to help this nigga yeah. You see me? Yeah, like, yeah. why is this nigga fighting like a whole ass supervillain all on his own he just did two avengers movies what the fuck like where did where's captain america Pull up, nigga. Where's Hulk? Speaking Pull up, nigga. Payroll wasn't looking right. Exactly. <laughs> hey, wait. Oh, speaking of all this, though, what are, let's... The <laughs> hey, hey. Like, with the bank or the, 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 the world. Which one, which one I'm going to say? What, what are saying. two things that we really need right now? I know all of you should know what I'm talking yeah. about. In terms of <laughs> people, what, hey, fuck you. What do, we, what do we need? I stand on that. <laughs> sure. So no, Let I'm me get some of these pockets. Yeah, no, yeah. um, I'm no, I'm, I'm gonna say personally consistency. Julian Brick. Oh, I, I was gonna say in terms of people. I was saying we need like two women. In our group. Okay, yeah, that's women a good one. DJs. Then, okay, right. there we go. go. But he's right. But he, but, no, no, he he but he's is. right. Like, yeah, we, yeah. We've been talking. We've been talking about that a lot. Yeah. I think we just uh, yes, women is nice as well, but like you know, a DJ uh, we and need a, a DJ. videographer. Yeah, yeah. that's the two. If you're a woman, yeah, right. 
That's nice. If you're non-binary, it does yes. not matter. Yes. If you're, you, I don't give a fuck. We want to show all it's sides happening. of like the Bay and just like NorCal and just not that we're like a group of like masculine figures swinging their dicks around. It's not like that. It's not like that even at this point. So like, yeah, yeah. we're always open to like, <laughs> like the thing is, uh, I feel like we've always been open. It's not like it's a closed ass group. You feel me? Yeah. It's just like, I feel like people have been kind of in and out of the group very lightly. Like we tried to do this at the beginning of last year. Remember with, uh, with Aaron and Taya and, uh, someone else. I'm trying to think. We had one more other person, didn't we? And we had like a first initial group chat. Remember? No. I do remember that group oh. chat. Was Josh? Well, yeah, was Josh a part of it too? Maybe it was Josh. Yeah, I don't maybe. know. Yeah, like I that feel like right. maybe not everybody was really on the same page with that shit. More like it was just like, oh, we're all working together in order to like accomplish like a common goal, not necessarily that we're all a group. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that was the baby steps to get from like where we are. Now, I feel like I would say. Right. like the biggest thing like for all of us like that makes us good is like we like we all believe in a group and each other but we also do this for ourselves yeah like yeah. not selfishly at all like we're all driven and like and for the kids as a group like that's what motivates me is to like just be around other people that's like that are just really about it like we see how much work it takes to get to where we want to and like don't want to wait for someone to come find us we're like actually putting it out so like yeah, we want this shit there you go. Mm-hmm. Same goal, different lanes, you know? And we want people to let us perform at their venue, so, like, yeah, please. Yeah, definitely like, let us turn shit up. Yeah, please. I'm sure that we'll have a few of those <laughs> please. this year. You guys, Jay, you just had a show at Cafe Galaxy or whatever. Shouts out to Cafe Galaxy. How shouts was that? Shouts out to Elevated Galaxy. Innovation, but really shouts out to Tay P. Yeah, honestly, I feel <laughs> yeah. like, um, I feel like it was, it was cool, you know, I got on to do Loud as Fuck, because that's a song that me and Tay did with High Life Flow, and, that shit, exactly, yeah. Not tell you, yeah, tell you really. I, I we like the energy that comes from that song. Honestly, mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah, it's a nice one song. Great song. Yeah, I love working with Taya. I got Taya on like a bunch of songs that I'm about to drop at the beginning of the year, and I hope that <laughs> there we go. I hope you're trying to come to the studio some more so we can make some more slaps. You know Please. So, but honestly, it's like it's um, Cafe Galaxy is a really cool venue. It's real. It's it's like when we went. My bad. I appreciate no, that. No, no, no. I just did pasta check for myself. And when and when we do a show that's on some real calm shit, because we all we all have that we all I, the, the calm way songs. like what the way that I try to explain our music to people is like we have the duality of like hype and calm, like super chill and super hype, and like introspection is like throughout all of it, even if we're just like talking shit. But like at the end of the day, it's one of those things where it's like that's the type of concert where if we want to have a small intimate setting. That's right. the right place to have it. They got the lights. They got the lodge. Right. The, uh, there's a kitten that lives there. There's like cushions there's a kitten and there? couches. Yeah. I want to slide. Yeah. Just won me over. There's yeah. a cat that was just like chilling. I love that. Yeah. Real nice around. aesthetic. Especially um, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Here, look. We might as well. Sorry, not to not to cut you off, but I know that we also have what. Like, do we have any other? Does anyone have any shows coming up? Does anyone know? I know. No? We want Correct. to. It's always looking for more. Rebels we, that we is. Show. Yeah, I was gonna to. say. I might as well just say it then. Like, I haven't said anything about it, but. As far as we know, knock on wood, ever, because this is, I just, it's, this is the third time that we've booked a show and it hasn't worked. So this is hopefully the time that it actually does work. Um, But El Rio said that they'd be pretty down to do April 13th. And they didn't give us a time yet, but I'm sure it'll be later on in the evening. Um, And everyone that's here is going to be performing so yeah. you know and there'll also be more um i'll announce them later i don't know if they're everyone said they were down but you never know so when we get closer and we'll we'll keep working on it we all doing hella business shit so when you mm-hmm. see us there come buy shit from us we selling lighters yeah. rolling trays fucking stickers yeah they pull up on us fucking drugs also we, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah don't, don't we don't sell you. drugs but yeah, no we, drugs. Drugs. we are law-abiding citizens law-abiding play no nothing illegal we problem. pay taxes and shit too <laughs> i pay my taxes don't I look eat, me up. No, um, don't look you, know, you up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, 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 Grace. No, also, no, no, no. What, what was your friend's name too? Because I do kind of want to get there that catering spot that does the wings. Because I want to get some wings. Oh yeah, shout out Aunt Munchies. Aunt Munchies. I'll, I'll Aunt Munchies. If I haven't talked to you yet, just know that I'm yeah. looking for you and your wings. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I'll connect for some. We'll okay. get a wing beneath your wing. Um, Cameo, gonna, Jada over there. She she do desire. She she put on for hella business shit. Yeah. There we go. Just yeah, Jada has helped us get our lighters. So shout out to Jada. And she's doing her own stuff this year, making clothes and, and 
Yeah, deep desires. desires. Getting real deep with those desires. Deep desires. Um, what questions you got, Luce? You got more in there? No, no. I was just gonna. I was gonna write us out with uh, one of our songs. <laughs> he said, he said yeah, he said talking. outro. <laughs> play the music. What do you desire? Get these niggas off the stage. <laughs> it's it's all done. Coco Cartier. <laughs> Desires Cove. Hey, who made this? Okay. Wait, what's all playing right now? Hey, don't turn me off yet. I told Boodles try to ride the wave. She fucking with an agent off that boat. Yeah, I got drifting days. I hate all people if they're white. I'm deep crusade. She ain't got no spice eating chicken with some mayonnaise. Worry about my future. I don't want no baby mama, baby. Get my chips and quick. I'm broke as fuck. I'll get it anyway. I can. I even work at Starbucks in the town trying to get it. Making music. I don't give a damn. I'm addicted. But Carlo chopped it up. He Jeffrey Dahmer. I know he's sick as fuck. Carlo did it with his eyes closed. Fuck with a scar, cause we get high ho like Fido We played through, we fight hard, we bang in our own shit We made this, what color do we ache this, but it's good Family always eating like they should, we go crazy We banging like we ate, so ride it down to some money bro. You ride on the city down, missing in some bummy cars We sit with the gas and we go 50 on the interstate Swerving down to one where my brother's taking shit away Get in hell high, hit him with the torn sky blast He got the shit colder than mouth shaft I slap BB King and go dumb like blast Bitch, I don't have no match yo bitch, I will pass So the fucking people stay down, loyal to the soil Us, we cannot find another motherfucker cut like ruby cloth on different butters, fucker. And I'm slick like a pimp named back. I need my money, mother. Sorry. Yeah, this has been Cuddy Combos. It's called Griffin Castillo, Headmaster Adam, and Jaden. You feel me? We out. I'm about to fade out the mics real professional like we got the end Today I'm uh, so high I wanna fly away